very warm welcome to Ediora. This is your biology faculty, Dr. Dhruvi Parekh. There are two types in this male heterogamity. One is your XXXY type of male heterogamity. Whereas the other is your XXX0 type. Now what is this? So here you have to understand one thing that all the organisms who are following this male heterogamity they are female organisms are having the same type of gametes but the male organisms are having some different types of gametes. For example, we'll study this first that is the XXXY type. Here your female, okay, the female organism contains what type of gametes? X and X type, okay. Whereas your males, okay, the male gametes are going to contain some or rather 50% as X chromosome and 50% as the Y chromosome. That means here the female gametes are the same. They are homo. But the male gametes are heterogametes. All the male gametes are not the same. Some male gametes are containing the X chromosomes like 50% and some male gametes are containing the Y chromosome. That is the reason it is called as the male heterogamete. Now let us find out how the offspring sex is determined. Let us have a unit square again. So, we have two types or two possibilities in the male gametes. That is, either it could be X or it could be Y. What about the female gametes? Are there any other possibilities? No. We just have one possibility that is X and X. That means both can be X only. Let us find out the ratio. It is X, 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 Y, X, X and again X, Y. That means out of your four offsprings in the next generation, you can get two as the male or you may get two as the female. That means the probability of getting either the male or the female offspring is 50%. Why? Because what is the ratio we have got here? We got the ratio as 2 is to 2. That is equal to 1 is to 1. That means there are 50% chances that the new offspring could be a male. Or there are 50% chances that the new offspring could be a female. Now many a times the students get confused here. They feel that if the mother is giving birth to four children, then there would be two male and two female. But no, we are talking about the probability. Even if a single child is born, okay, then also there are 50% chances of the child being a male child or there are 50% chances of the child being a female child. So this is your faculty Dr. Dhruvi signing off for today. But we'll be meeting in the next lecture with some really interesting topics, really interesting concepts. Till then, keep learning and keep watching Adiora. Thank you.